Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to virtualize Webster Message Broker web service with Rational Integration Tester from Transformer Tech Inc. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to virtualize a web service as exposed by Webster Message Broker using the Rational Integration Tester that is part of the Rational Test Workbench. Rational Integration Tester gives us the ability to virtualize different parts of our environment. The virtual stubs allow us to test an entire system end to end, even if certain components are not implemented or available. This can be very helpful to find issues earlier in the development's life cycle. All right, first we're going to overview our virtualizing of our live system. Then we're going to review our steps to virtualize a web service. After that we're going to create a virtual web service using Rational Integration Tester. And then we're going to test our solution using the virtualized web service. This is our current infrastructure. We have an application that's sending a request to a broker that's exposing a web service and getting a reply back. Very simple. Then we're going to record the live service with Rational Integration Tester and an HTTP proxy. This is going to sit in between the application and the web service and record the transport traffic that goes through. The HTTP proxy is going to route the messages uh, into the Rational Integration Tester so that we can record it. And then later, once we have a virtualized web service, this is going to be what's sending the reply and getting the request. So we no longer need the broker web service anymore. We're going to have the Rational Integration Tester running on the Rational Test Virtualization Server. IBM Rational Test Virtualization Server allows us to use virtual services deployed in Rational Integration Tester to create, share, and deploy virtualized test environments. In an enterprise deployment, we would leverage RTVS by using Rational Test Control Panel to deploy these virtual services to remote Rational Integration Tester agents. Virtualize web service, we're going to show the physical web service exposed by the broker. We're going to create a test inside Rational Integration Tester and record. Then we're going to create a stub from that recording and test the virtual web service with a Rational Integration Test. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and this is a view of our web service. We have a simple flow here that's going to model a, a credit card transaction. It's going to see if the transaction is authorized, not authorized. It's also going to put X's uh, in, in front of the credit card numbers. That way it's hidden. Um, and we're just going to test this really quickly just so we can see that it works. We're going to use the broker port 7801 and we need SOAP UI to run a test to this web service. And we should get a response back. And we can see that this has run successfully and it was an authorized purchase and we have our credit card numbers blanked out. So what we're going to be doing is virtualizing this web service. Okay, so we're going to get started inside Rational Integration Tester. We have an empty project here. First thing we're going to do is sync with the, bro with the broker. So we'll go to the IBM tab here. We're going to pick the message broker. We're going to have to set up the, the MQ. Uh, we'll put the Q information in here. That way we can connect to it. So it's on the local host. And it's MB. All right. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. This is going to go and grab our default execution group. We'll hit next. We're going to create a component because we don't have one yet. And we're going to open the synchronization view and then select what we want to synchronize. All right. So we're just going to select, make sure that we have checked stuff that we want to have checked, that we want to bring into our environment, just things that are related to our web service. We want to definitely make sure that our web service flow and the operation are checked. And then after that, all we have to do is hit the synchronization button right here. And this is going to be added to our project. So we'll hop into logical view and we can see that this has been added with the broker, the flow, the operation, as well as the HTTP transport. So we'll go to the physical view because we want to set up our proxy. We're going to open the HTTP transport. Go to the client tab and right in here is where we're going to add in our proxy information that's registered with our with the rational test control panel. So localhost and the port is 3128. Go to the recording tab. Make sure this is set to external proxy server because that's what we're using. We're not trying to use pro uh, pro packet capture here. So we'll hit test transport just to make sure that's successful. Then we'll hit OK. And once the proxy is set up, we're going to go ahead and create a test. So we're going to change to the test factory perspective. Go down to the operation, right click it, new test using MEP, which is the, me the message exchange pattern. We're going to create a name here for the test. It's going to be web service test. Hit OK. And you can see that this is already created with a request and a reply. It's not just a blank test. So we're going to go into this request step. And we're going to add in information for a credit card purchase. So we'll add in the credit card number. 
uh, and then a name. Expiration date for the credit card. Security code. The zip code. An amount. And an authorization number. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to run this test. First, we're going to save it. Then we'll run it. We know that's going to fail because it's not expecting um, the reply that it's going to get from the live service. So we're going to click on the first operation here. This is going to open the message differencing window. And once this is open, we can see that these green elements are the things that I was not expecting to get back as a reply. But it's actually what we want because this is coming from the live service. So what we're going to do here is go to overwrite expected message. And we're going to click that. So it's going to overwrite the reply message that it had to what we're getting from the live service. And when we, we close this, we can hit apply to save the changes to this test. And if we run it again, we can see that it should pass successfully. And now that we have a successful test, we can set up recording to record the test and create a virtual stub. So we'll go into the architecture school. We're going to go back to the logical view. We'll right click the operation, go to record. This is going to bring us into the recording studio. From here, we will select the transport that we want to record on. We'll hit OK. Then when we hit the recording button, it's going to register these operations and the transport with the HTTP proxy. And once that's done, we can go back to the test lab run another test and this should show up in our recording so we'll hop back to the recording studio and we have our operations that were recorded so then from here once this has been recorded and we're ready to go we can create a stub just by selecting the two operations opening the save wizard going to stubs hey next for this example we're going to be using a hard-coded stub in other in another video we're going to go over how to do a simple data set stub which can allow us to have um, dynamic data for different parts of our stub. But for here, we're just going to use a hard-coded value. Hit next. We're going to check our operations and make sure this is the input. And we have the reply message. We'll go to next. We're going to leave these groups the same because they're grouped together. We'll go next. And we're going to leave all these uh, checkboxes checked. One more next. We're going to put a name in for the stub. And we'll hit finish. And this is going to go ahead and create our stub. We see that the stub is created. We have an input and an output. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run the stub. It's it out. So once we hit run, it's going to initialize the stub, get it ready to go. We see that it's ready. So what we want to do here is make sure that when we run a test, it's actually hitting the stub and not the live service because we want to virtualize the live service. So when we run this test, we should see that the counter goes up on the stub and the test was run virtually through the rational integration tester with this virtualized web service. So thank you for watching this video demonstration on how to virtualize a web service inside Rational Integration Tester from Transforma Tech Inc. Make sure you check out our other videos on WebStream Message Broker and Rational Integration Tester. Thank you.